All right, well, you know, with these tier lists, the videos are long, so the intro is going to be short. Can we get 80 likes for this tier list? We got Icons Attackers today. Should be good. Also, we got a special card in there, thanks to one of our mods that uh, downloaded all these images for me. I prefer not to speak about it. But anyways, and yeah, if I forgot an icon or you need somebody else like reviewed or rated that I didn't put in, let me know because there's like a hundred and something icons. We only put in like 30, 40. So yeah, let me know. Are you fed up of coming against God Squad Game In and Game Out? What? If so, make sure to head over to u7buy.com using the link in the description below. And don't forget to use code RAN at checkout for an extra little discount. We, we, we do have a special GOAT tier today. A special GOAT tier for a few cards that are just too ridiculous to even be in S tier. We need to separate S tier and a GOAT tier. You can probably guess who we're thinking of. Now, we're going to get it out of the way. We're going to put Frauders in C tier. This is my uh, mod made uh, terrible, terrible card. We have 99 Ice, which I don't even know. Can you guys make out? 76 pace, which is very, very high, but too physical. So, you know, gym membership kind of expired. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, into the list. Starting off, we got Baby Eusebio. Now, this. This is a card. This is a card. Now, we have like some primes and we don't have other primes. I'm going to put him goat tier. Sensational. Sensational. Ridiculous card. This kind of includes his prime. So, he's also goat tier as well, but... These guys, league of their own. Ridiculous. Arguably best shot in the game, even better than like R9. Ridiculous pain traveling. If he had power star skills, I, I, I say it every year. I think Eusebio would be better than R9 if he had five star skills. I say it every year. I think it's true. I think people would agree with me on that. Next up, we got Barnes. You know, this dude chilling at B tier. Actually, looking at the stats, he doesn't look terrible, but this guy is just trash in game. He doesn't travel well at all. Just not a fan. Not that great a card. Bird camp. People will be surprised to know I'm actually going to put him in A tier. I think at Cam, this guy's a bit of a demon. Shooting is ridiculous. Shooting is ridiculous. Passing, very good. And he's got decent pace. I think he's quite underrated in FIFA. I think if he's within your budget, I think you guys give him maybe a little run out. Pretty decent card. He's got mid best, who I don't really rate that highly, but he did get his new SPC. But I'm put him in A tier. Definitely better than Burkamp, don't get me wrong. But, you know, Burkamp's low A tier. Best is high A tier. Uh, he's a good card. I think stamina is a killer uh, on this mid card. Let me, let me do a little flip in check. If I recall correctly, it's like 78 stamina or something. Uh, yeah, 78 stamina. I'm a bit of a nerd for knowing that. Up heart, I can't lie. But like, he is obviously a great card. But that stamina really, it bugs me. Uh, it means like he needs to get subbed off. But prime best, on the other hand, is definitely S tier. Very nice card. Gets up to the 87 stamina as well as obviously getting better all around stats. Elsewhere, love this card, I must say. Oh, always been very good in FIFA. He's got Butra. With the tree star skills tax, he's definitely A tier for me. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I just I just can't do tree star skills. Now, to be fair, and I've talked about this in other kind of videos, is this year I feel like four star skills isn't that much better than tree star skills, right? The lack of Keta is not really used that much. Heal to heal got nerfed. Burber spin isn't great. So ultimately. It's actually not too bad to downgrade as previous years. So, like, this card is sort of very good, but for me, yeah, it's this gun is a uh, killer. But that is why, like, if you don't use skills, this guy's easily S tier, like, very easily. He has great pace, five so weak for shooting and, and dribbling, don't get me wrong, but for me, nah. Baby Cantona up next. I'm gonna go A tier. I'm gonna go A tier. Actually, no, nah, nah, he has to go S. He actually has to go S. Really good card. Obviously, feels a bit clunky in game. Prime Cantona is actually gonna be the same tier. As him, obviously, Prime Cantona is like higher S, and Baby Cantona is lower S. But these cards, when you get down to it in game, they do feel quite similar. What is the price difference on these two cards? Because honestly, they, they never feel that different in game. So Prime is up at three mil, and Baby is only one mil. That is a crazy price difference. Now, comparing the stats, you can see like obviously the shooting boost is very nice, especially the finishing plus seven. But now you're only looking at plus one, plus two, plus threes around the place. Uh, and that's really how it, it works out in game. It's not the biggest boost. It, it's sort of a boost you would expect from like a goal card to like a second info. Yeah, you can feel it. But at the end of the day, it's not going to be that big a difference. And then Crespo, definitely an A tier card. You know, just, just like solid, but really not all that special. I wish he still had his five star weak foot from, I want to say like FIFA 15 or something. So 
uh, a long FIFA ago. I really did used to love Crespo back in those days. But now, you know, it's just a bit meh. You know, it's, he's great. He's great, but he's just not S tier. Cruyff, easy, easy S tier. And Prime Cruyff. We're going to have to put in goat tier. Sensational car. Now, the baby, his shot power, man. Even though the prime doesn't even have that much better shot power, if I recall correctly, right? The prime has four extra shot power, but the prime is just considerably better. It also gets plus four balance, even though it loses some agility. I think that's important. And then just overall, it, like the shooting boost is big because... If you guys have used this baby Cruyff, his shooting is very similar to Neymar. You know, like it's decent, you know, it's eh, it's not bad by any means, but you can really feel it's not a top tier shot at all. But as you get the prime Cruyff, it becomes that kind of top tier sh shot, kind of more like a Ronaldo, a Ginola, Eusebio's, and R9's. Obviously not quite as good as those latter two, but definitely kind of up there. Whereas the baby um, really is just incredible at like dribbling and stuff, but can let you down with shooting way more than than you'd hope. Next, we got Prime Dog Leash. This guy's S2 for sure. Big, big fan of Prime Dog Leash. Uh, obviously, doesn't have the five star skills, which I'm going to talk about a lot because I think feel like it's so important this year. However, does have the five star weak foot and every kind of meta stat you're looking for, and the shooting is outstanding. Let's got Del P for me. Definitely just an A tier card. It's a little too slow. Um, the baby, I'd probably put in. A tier as well, but obviously I do prefer the baby car as well. I just prefer the extra five pace. Uh, I think it's more important than kind of a bit of dribbling, shooting, passing around the place. Drogba, unfortunately, even with as much Chelsea wise as I want, is a B tier card. It's just his dribbling, man. He just can't turn in game. It's so sad because I do love me some Drogba IRL, but in game, it's painful. It is painful that he unfortunately is just going to be B tier in game. Just dribbling isn't there. Incredible in the air, obviously great pace and shooting, but dribbling is just too important in FIFA. Edo, got another kind of S tier card here. Obviously not going to make the coat tier without being... Like, there's two ways you make the goat tier. Like, you're Unreal with your 5-star skills, or you're you Savior. That, that, that's literally the two ways, and unfortunately, he does not have 5-star skills. I don't know one of those cards with 5-star skills would be arguably one of the best icons in the game. However, without it... He's still outstanding. Um, I've actually played against this card a lot. I haven't actually used this card, uh, but I've played against him a lot, and he is very, very good. Just slightly predictable. Here we have the Prime Eusebio, also go to Always just been marginally better than the baby card for whatever reason. This baby Eusebio is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'll have a quick look at the stats. He's still 3.5, and the Prime is 5. I often tell by, you know, the pricing how different the cards are. Nah, but then you can look, you know, in-game stats, you're really only getting a bit of passing is like the main increase and a bit of shooting, but not kind of anything that important. So you can tell like they're both just ridiculous goat tier cards, simple as. Let's got Garincha, definitely S tier, definitely higher S tier, but even on his prime and even on his moments, which isn't out yet, his shooting never feels great. It just never feels great. And there's a reason he's 1.9 million. 94 rated brazilian right wing icon with five star skills four star weak foot there's a reason right you know he's not this cheap just cause it's because he's just not that good a card unfortunately now, obviously easily s tier but nowhere near go to i would argue he's actually low s tier unfortunately dribbling of course is great his pace he's actually not that incredibly fast you know 90 is solid but it's not amazing and his passing is stupid but his shooting just never is that great unfortunately next we got prime Henri, who i have packed if you uh, haven't seen that i'm a tiktok or whatnot but uh he's gonna be just about s tier as well his shooting is cracked I'm I must say and he's very very fast dribbling better than you expect but obviously still not incredible dribbling and lacks a five star you know weak foot or skill move so that kind of keeps him definitely away from that go to it's got luis and Andes. always a solid card i think this card is always good obviously you got the low weak foot you know he's got the pace dribbling shooting he's pretty good his shooting is is very good i think that finishing is quite quite important at 91 and he is a good card and surprisingly good in the air if you've ever played with him or against him you'll notice he wins a lot more headers than you think kind of like that corner left back card just, just wins headers when he really shouldn't but solid card but obviously with three star weak foot can can't get near that s tier but it has enough to definitely keep him above the b tier scott cliver who's basically a slightly better jogger but slightly slower but feels slightly better on ball and yeah just just still not good enough at dribbling larson 
going to be an A tier card again. Just a bit okay. Nothing too special. We'll actually look at his stats just to kind of confirm. Just trace our skills. Like I said, not the biggest issue this year because if you don't have five, you might as well have three. But you know, dribbling not outstanding. Passing pretty bad. Finishing is solid, but that shot power kind of lets him down as well. Is he worth that price tag? I would still say yes. You know, especially if you want to try and attack her. Could give him a go. And next got Figo. Barely A tier. I'll be honest. This guy is the king of fake stats every year there's something wrong with this card i don't know whether it's his body type or what it is maybe it's the 81 balance but this guy doesn't feel good on the ball which is stupid with 92 dribbling there's just there's something wrong with his dribbling his shooting is never good i was his passing and pace is solid but yeah there, there's a reason once again he's only 800k it's just not that great unfortunately oh and you'll definitely beat here just you know the tree star attacks i believe i'll a uh, double check yeah tree star skills again minus dribbling not outstanding and the 49 long pass is actually disgusting he's lucky to not be in c tier let's be honest now i got pele baby pele i'm gonna have to put in goat tier as well sensational card obviously the same as the prime don't tell tom stokes that i uh put him in the goat tail he will not be happy as he is not the biggest fan but let's be honest they're just ridiculous cards they just move different they shoot different they dribble different stupidly fast five star skills four star weak but finesse shot right you just got it all I don't even need to say anything. Who's cast gonna put S tier? Obviously let down by its weak foot, but his this card shooting by the way is actually a joke. And because his shooting is so good, honestly, his his three star weak foot feels like a four star. You know, it's actually stupidly good. You know, it's still not good enough uh to be go to great card though i must say uh how much is his 89 going for nowadays only 1.1 million that's not bad i might have to start playing with some of these icons as they are fun to use i just got raul who uh being of time stokes ruined my dreams in a uh, fifa 19 as he knocked me out in a knockout round for a qualifier against mr tom stokes i'm gonna put him s tier mainly because of finesse shot trait this year finesse shots are very very good and if you can get good at them i will can be an s tier card definitely the lower end of an s tier uh definitely kind of down with kind of best and stuff still definitely better than all these a tier cards in my opinion Rivaldo, no you're just bad Weak for tax is too much. That's all I gotta say. Based on Aldinho, who do we even put him in it? Yeah, we sneak him in A tier. Just 80 paces, all I have to say. Very unfortunate. Prime Aldinho, we're actually gonna put in Go tier. This card is very, very, very nice. Stupidly expensive, but yeah, he's ridiculous. Also, his strength is always one thing that I always find so interesting about him. Very, very strong on the ball. Pretty much that's all. Simple as. Base R9, we're gonna sneak into S tier. Sneak him in. Just because, you know, these cards probably... Oh, I could have split these tiers, to be honest. But yeah, base R9, definitely no one near GOAT tier. The fact he's 4-star, four 4-star four alone just kind of ruins him, unfortunately. Obviously, Prime R9 is the GOAT, so he's obviously a GOAT tier. Rooney... Three star, three star tax is gonna put him in A tier though, because overall his stats are decent enough. Shevchenko, now just A tier card. Not great, but not terrible by any means. So Sanchez is B. Did they fix his composure in the end? Um, yeah, 84 composure, so it's not too bad, but it's just three star skills kind of tax there. Although his shooting is actually quite good, so we'll actually sneak him into the A tier. Stoikov, definitely A tier. Really good card. Once again, just three star weak foot tax. Suka, I'll put in A tier. We're just kind of filling these with these kind of mid icons. So just kind of you know okay Tarez will also put a tier i don't think he's quite good enough but i'll give his stats a chance to get into a tier i don't think so though yeah it's the three balance probably with no long passing yeah i'll keep him in a tier van persie definitely a tier and zola a tier so we kind of kind of packed out a tier maybe a little too much could have split it into another tier probably could have split those guys up i can't lie into kind of upper and lower guys that that's about it hope you guys enjoyed i think this was probably a shorter video hope you guys enjoyed it if i i did miss some people at the on this list i probably like a boc tier card anyways well, let me know if i missed anybody hope you guys enjoyed it go for any likes once again subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you guys next time